Welcome to the Pure Performance Cafe. May I take your order? Yes, I would like a shot of Pure Performance, please. Coming right up. Hello, this is another episode of Pure Performance Cafe. I'm still in Gdansk, Poland, a beautiful city, even though it's right now, it's unfortunately dark outside because we work too long. Mikhail, we've spent the last two days almost with each other mm -hmm. in different workshops. Yes. I know you now, but mm -hmm. the people that listen to it don't know you. So who are you? What do you do for Dynatrace? Mm, my name is Michael. Uh, I'm a developer with the company for the last year. Uh, before that, I've been working for seven years with bigger companies like insurance and banking. And it's been, uh, well, interesting shifting from uh, business-centric work to IT to IT. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty new to the company, and it's really great that I managed to start with meeting you. <laughs> and having the chance to get an overview from the people who actually do that, who speak to our clients and really do that professionally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and in your current role, can you explain a little bit more, mm -hmm. like what pro what features you're working on? And mm -hmm. I, I know you're excited about it, actually. Yes. And you also want to do some meetups here in the area mm -hmm. and, and telling people what you do. So. Mm -hmm. Tell us, what do you do? Well, uh, I've joined, joined the company only recently and uh, basically managed to move from the front end, working with the team who, who's working on the JavaScript agent. And recently we've moved on to database monitoring, which is obviously the other, the other end of the application stack. Uh, well, what was really cool for me, and I'm really enjoying it, is that how I had to move from uh, using the database to uh, analyzing the usage patterns and the uh, uh, performance architecture of the database. I had to focus on that. That's really new. Uh, I got a, a really a lot of support from both internally from the company and from the people who, uh, who gather the feedback from the customers and from the big names in the industry. So I've learned quite a lot, mm -hmm. and it was really fun. Cool. And I like what you just said. You said normal as a developer, mm -hmm. you're developing an app, and you take the database for granted. You just yes. execute your statements. You do it mm -hmm. through an OR mapper. Yeah. But now you actually have to look behind the scenes and understand mm -hmm. what is actually going on in the database and how yeah. can we monitor it. And what we try to solve in Dynatrace is actually giving that data to developers mm -hmm. to better understand yes. how they're impacting the database. Mm -hmm. Do you have any... Just what comes out of your head, what are the top things you would like to let developers know that have mm -hmm. not yet had the chance to look into the database? Mm -hmm. What are the things you learned? Well, basically, uh, as everything in, in IT, uh, memory is pretty cheap but you have to manage it, and it's not always fast. So you can look at a database as a pretty advanced uh, querying system, a caching system, which has the advanced bonus of, well, uh, actually providing the data, which you can query in interesting ways, which is pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. But, uh, well, and uh, what you need to remember is that the database will always do what you need to do, what it has to do, and not less. And it's pretty easy to reason about it as long as you do treat it as a, a cache hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Now, the databases you worked with, uh, what, what, what technologies? Like, was it Oracle, SQL Server? What, what was mm -hmm. the technologies you worked with? Uh, as Dynatrace, we, tra we try to cover everything, mm -hmm. and we have to uh, work with all the big names. So we started with Oracle, moved to SQL uh, Server, and now we're working on DB2. Obviously, we had to stop with MySQL. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we, MySQL is pretty, a bit harder to monitor, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so well, it's really interesting in the sense that all the databases do pretty similar stuff, but they have a different way of going about it. Also, while working with uh, performance, you have to go pretty deep down into what they do and how they do it. Mm -hmm. And, well, uh, database performance is a bit of a touchy subject, which isn't very well documented. And that's something we are spending quite a lot of time uh, working with now. So mm -hmm. that's really nice. Cool. And you also kind of made a promise to me today that you are working on a presentation, obviously, that mm -hmm. you're giving here in local meetups. But you also mm -hmm. think you write a blog. Mm -hmm. right? That will be interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully we can also do a performance clinic where we show yes. the stuff live. Mm -hmm. um, now, so you said that, I mean, you're people that don't know the database agent mm -hmm. because you're working on that team, you're basically pulling in performance data from the database. So that yes. DB2, yes. can you tell me maybe one or two key metrics mm -hmm. that you pull in mm -hmm. that we give to developers 
Mm -hmm. Well, the most obvious uh, metric you would want to optimize for is logical reads. Uh, they differ from uh, physical reads in the sense that uh, you can't control physical reads as a developer because uh, d they depend on what's actually cached at the moment, mm -hmm. which depends on the work workload which you don't have control over. But logical reads is something you can control, you can reason about, and you can expect to hit a, a certain values. So that's something we present to you in graphs, and, and we really want you to look at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's awesome. So, I mean, we are really trying to open up minds of developers about mm -hmm. what the very precious system in the back and the database is actually mm -hmm. doing and how, can, how they can optimize it. It's cool. Yes. Um, well, I, th I would say thank you. Maybe just remind people again about your name so people mm -hmm. and maybe they want to follow up with the blog posts. Mm -hmm. So, I'm Michal Weir. Uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, contributing. Well, well, maybe something I learned over the time mm -hmm. for the people who well, are too busy uh, keeping the world's lights up. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah and thanks for contributing back to the community. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot.